Here is a question from Ed. Hi, Ed. Ed says, hey, Ethan, I'm a huge fan. Love your work in TV, films, and with the podcast. And I've been inspired by your weight loss journey and success to the point I finally pursued this for myself last year. He says, I decided to start small and just adjust my diet with a calorie deficit to lose two pounds per week, sticking to fruit, veggies, whole grains, and lean meat. Between September 23 and the end of January 24, I dropped 50 pounds strictly through Fuck diet. Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. So well done. He says, beginning in February, I began with weight training along with some cardio alternating days between. I've been using a calorie counting app, so I'm tracking everything I'm eating along with the number of steps I take, et cetera. As of now, I've noticed that my weight loss has essentially stalled and it's freaking me out a bit. I'm still when more- When did he start lifting weights? Uh, this was, J- hold up, uh, February. So, okay. you know, it's February 28th right now that we're reading this. So right. um, he says, uh, I'm still morbidly obese and my physical activity is significantly higher than it used to be, but I'm just scared that I dieted too long without a maintenance phase and slowed down my metabolism. I figured it wasn't needed right away since I'm morbidly obese and don't feel like I'm starving for food. When I began this weight loss journey, I weighed 402. My current weight is 351, and I really want to get down to 300 pounds before going on a long-term maintenance phase, six plus months. Should I continue what I'm doing? He really wants to get to where? 300 Mm -hmm. uh, before he does a long-term maintenance. So he basically wants to lose 50 more. He says, should I continue doing what I'm doing or just take a maintenance break? Do you think my body is essentially thinking that I'm starving it and I should add in a couple hundred calories to mitigate that? Do you have any advice for myself or others in a similar situation? Thank you for all you do. Yeah. Um, thank you. He lost more than 10% of his body weight. I, I mean... Look, and I don't want you to have to read the whole thing again, but it doesn't, does, did he, has he reduced his calories at all from the beginning to now? He did not mention that. Right. So one thing to keep in mind is that at 400 pounds, the amount of calories to maintain your weight is going to be different than 350 pounds, especially if you diet to 350 pounds. So if you took a 350 pound individual and put him next to, and everything, all things were equal, except one guy dieted to 350 pounds and the other guy just is 350 pounds, the maintenance calories for the guy who's just naturally 350 pounds is going to be higher than the guy who dieted down. Because as we're dieting down, we are slowing down our metabolic process. It does slow down a bit. Um, I mean, I, I, so, you know, after 50 pounds, you would have to lessen your calories a bit in order to continue to produce weight loss. The problem with trying to do this in a one-shot deal, or even a hundred pounds, is the hormones. Your body's going to start fighting it more and more. Weight loss. It's going to become harder and harder. You're going to get hungrier. You're going to your leptin and ghrelin are going to be out of whack. And so, like my real advice would be to do a, it doesn't have to be six months. You could do three months of maintenance and then go back into it, um, into dieting. That would be my recommendation, but fuck man, 50 pounds is great. Um, congratulate yourself. You've got a lot more work to do. Um, I'm glad you're not trying to do it so fast. And the further along you get, two pounds a week is going to at some point become unrealistic. You're going to want to slow that down too and see a pound a week. But also, if you haven't worked out in a while or ever, he doesn't sound like he has ever worked out, there is this magical thing that can happen to first time lifters, which is you can be in a caloric deficit and building muscle at the same time. This, there's a, there, it's not, everybody can do this, but 
the it seems that the science indicates that the magic formula is for people who have never really exercised or done resistance training before. You put them in a diet, you put them in a caloric deficit, you get them lifting weights, they start building muscle. So my only point in saying that is, yeah, you probably are still burning fat, but you're also building muscle. So it's masked on the scale. Mm. Um, that's something to take into consideration. The other thing to take into consideration is uh, I know when I get deep into a diet, I start craving salt more. I also know when I start exercising or when I'm exercising a lot, I crave salt more because I'm sweating more. Um, and salt can make us retain water, which can also mask fat loss. So you could be totally losing fat and it's just not showing up on the scale. Mm -hmm. Um, are your pants get, this is when you would maybe want to try another, you utilize another metric for fat loss, uh, gauging fat loss, which would be like, you know, measuring yourself. Um, so my suggestion is either take a break from the scale, believe in the process, don't change anything, start measuring yourself and let that be the guide or do a maintenance period and then come back to the diet. But like, fuck man, kudos to you. You sound like you're doing awesome. Do not let that discourage you. It could be a number of things. You could be packing on muscle and burning fat. And so you don't see the loss on the scale. You could be consuming more salt because you're exercising. Um, and, and retaining a little bit of water, you're still burning fat and you're not seeing a reduction on the scale. Or you could just really need a, a maintenance period. It doesn't have to be six months long. Um, yeah, that's, that, those, that's my advice. Keep, keep doing the resistance training. That's great. Awesome. Love it. Well, uh, Ed, let us know what you decide and how it goes. You can email us like anyone else out there with a question. It's hello at americanglutton.net.